Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything's going to be okay. Today I will be doing another of the new daily community events. In my first video about them, I did the destruction objective, so I'll be doing a different one this time. Um, I, this is the second day after the new community event update and tier one is already at nine percent that's surprising to me i mean nine percent doesn't sound like a lot but that's just after one day i thought that since the time limit um started at 28 days the tier would go super super slow like one percent a day or something um but it's going at about the same rate that it did when we only had two weeks to get to the maximum so I guess it's pretty much the same goal as before and maybe the only reason they gave us 28 days was to give everybody more time to get more quicksilver so that they could buy all the quicksilver items or buy you know other quicksilver items that they didn't get if they missed the other events so that may have been the main purpose of this community event was to give people that didn't um, didn't participate in all the events a chance to buy all the items because now we can do an event every single day and get Quicksilver. But there's still a limit to how many because it's only 28 days long and you can only get 250 Quicksilver so I don't know if somebody missed all of the other events and didn't buy any items yet pretty sure they're not gonna be able to get enough Quicksilver to max to buy everything but at least there'll be a chance for them to get some of the stuff they want greetings it is most pleasant pleasant to interface again cool so it's not an exact repeat of the first time Input data to my storage banks, and I will synthesize reward output across all realities. A range of data is of utility to the space anomaly. Today, do you wish to contribute to trade collection, exploration, or destruction? I'm going to do trade slash collection. Thank you. You have selected trade collection. <laughs> Reminds me of that funny moment when I selected the destruction one. Uh, today's directive is to collect rare storm crystals from planets ooh, with extreme climates. Scans of this natural phenomenon will greatly augment Master Polo's geological archives. Oh man, I'm going to have to find a extreme conditions planet. That's going to be... wait. I think... I think I might have a um, a base. I don't know if I deleted that base or not, but I think I have a base on Extreme Conditions Planet. So if I can, I'm going to go to there. Hopefully, it'll work. And problem with the Extreme Conditions Planet I'm going to it's also Extreme Sentinel. So this is going to be a really extreme challenge. Are these boxes new? I don't remember seeing these big boxes by the Terminus portal. Hmm. Maybe they changed some things about space stations I don't know about. Anyway, let's see. Nope. Hopefully I still have that one. Yes, extreme challenge. Okay. So hopefully I can find storm crystals on this planet. And if there's a storm, then I can get them. Unfortunately, I'll also be dodging the Sentinels a lot. But this should make for an exciting one. Probably more exciting than the, than the destruction one I did. Because <laughs> all I did in the destruction one was kill some carnivorous plants. And I do think that there may be multiple different objectives in each category. I'm not sure yet, but it's seeming like they are. But we'll see. So my plan is after 
after I do each category, I'm going to start live streaming every day, or at least every day on the weekend. <laughs> I don't really, I, well, next week is going to be really easy because it's the end of the semester. So maybe I'll be able to live stream. Probably not Monday because Monday's still a, f whoa, okay. <laughs> Monday's still a full day. But maybe I can live stream every other day of the week this week. And um, I'm, I have three game saves, normal, creative, and survival. So I might do the event on all of those every day to help uh, increase the tiers. At least until the tiers max out. Okay, let's see. Can I, Are storm crystals scannable? Or can you find them on here I don't know hopefully oh there they are there's storm crystals right here they don't seem to be like on your scanner but anyway we're gonna have to wait a little bit to uh, for there to be a storm Hmm. So, <laughs> I guess I'll just duck into my base for a little bit until... Oh man, I don't even have a terminus portal here. I should have built one. Why don't I do that while I wait for a storm? Um... Technology, permanent technology... I need an ion battery. I'll just build the terminus portal outside. There's no room in my little hovel that I built here. I used this planet for... Um, you know, getting my extreme survival milestones maxed out. But anyway, hopefully we have storms soon so I can collect these storm crystals. How many do I need to collect? Oh, I don't have it selected. Let's see. Three. I just need three. Unfortunately, I only see two here. Dang it. I should probably... Wait, no, there's three. Good. Perfect. So there's three storm crystals here. So as soon as a storm happens... Uh-oh, here comes the sentinels. As soon as a storm happens, I can grab those storm crystals. And I'll complete the objective. So hopefully we'll have a storm here pretty soon. If not, I may have to edit out... <laughs> edit this out. I don't like having to edit videos when I edit videos on PlayStation, it doubles the file size, and so it makes it um, take twice as long to upload, and sometimes there's errors, and it messes up my thumbnail, but you probably don't care about all that. <laughs> but, yeah, I'll edit this if I have to. Come on, have a storm already. Whoa, I think they... Wow, I think there's some different assets on this planet than when I was first here. In fact, I think the terrain has changed a little bit. Oh, yeah, because I'm pretty sure I scanned all of the plants. So either my databanks forgot these mushrooms or they've changed slightly. And that would kind of line up with the visions update. I mean... These are still pretty much the same kind of mushrooms you always find on toxic planets. But if I remember correctly, they didn't look like this before. So they may have changed all of the plant assets on all planets slightly. Or maybe I'm just imagining things. It has been quite a while since I've been here. I do remember this planet did have monopods like this. I also remember it stormed a lot, which I wish it would do right now, <laughs> so I could get my objective done. I haven't collected many storm crystals. This is like the, uh, 
Oh, wow, I have a deadline. Interesting. There's a 10-hour deadline. So I guess the the deadline to the, um, to the, like, changing so that you can get another one happens at a specific time rather than, um, rather than being based on when you started it. So when I did the first one, it said I had like 21 hours till the next time I could do that. I did that in like in the morning. This is the evening when I'm doing this. So the time limit is now 10 hours. So it seems to reset at the same time every day. That's pretty good. Um, that's better than being a full 24 hours after I complete this because I only have to wait 10 hours instead of 24. So anyways, <laughs> wish it would hurry up and storm. Yeah, I definitely don't remember the mushrooms being exactly like this. And I'm pretty sure with how much time I spent here, it was, uh, I'm pretty sure I scanned everything when I was last here. So it seems like everything has changed. I also remember there being a lot higher mountain behind my hovel. Seems like the terrain has changed some. That's pretty cool. They can change the terrain a little bit without like messing up our bases because my base is still here. Although, it, you know, it's got junk in the back of it now, but I mean, I think that was there before, back before they did a fix for that. Oh, come on. It's an extreme planet. It should storm. Huh. I remember there were floating crystals nearby, too. Ah, there they are. Let's go run over to the floating crystals just for something to do, I guess. Uh-oh, Sentinel. You know, I still haven't seen a corrupted Sentinel. I also haven't gone to a one of the new, well, one of the procedural crashed freighters that they added in Visions. I was actually going to do a video on the procedural crashed freighters the day that the 1.77 came up, came out. I was actually getting on to my, I was homesick from work and I was getting on and I thought I need to finally make some more, um, content because people complained that I hadn't made a video in over a week so I was gonna make a video about the um, um, you know new crash freighters um, but then 1.77 started downloading and I had to cover that instead this does look a lot like it was here before so it seems to be mostly the same it does seem like all the plants are a bit different. It's very strange. Finally, a storm is starting. Yay! Took me quite a while waiting for this. Let's go get those crystals. Storm crystal. Storm crystal. And Storm Crystal. Yay, we did it. Hardest part of that one was just waiting for the storm to come. Well, if I hadn't had a base on an extreme planet, it would have been hard to find the planet too. But anyway, let's turn it into Mr. Synthesis Spot. Greetings, I am pleased to see your safe return, Traveler. Did you successfully retrieve the requested crystal formations? Scanning storm crystals. Generating quicksilver output. Interesting, or <laughs> sincerest thanks, Traveler. I am accessing the Space Anomalies hyperdrive. You are most welcome to dock and browse the database of exotic collectibles. Cool. 
So we completed another daily objective of the new community event. I'm gonna land on this planet. So that was that was pretty cool. I mean, I haven't collected any storm crystals before, so this gave me a chance to show it in a video and actually do it myself. So I think that's a pretty good idea for them to make the community event about trying out the new things in the new update that they just had. And that's kind of what they did with all the community events. Almost all the community events were, well, some were specifically related to new features in the game and others were just getting you to explore um, in next and do things in the next update. But anyway, um, that does it for this video of the trade collection objective of the new community event. I have been Mac. Oh, and um, yeah, like I said, I, I'm going to start live streaming these uh, once I do the third type of objective tomorrow. So, I have been Mac. Thank you for joining me for a day. And remember, everything is going to be okay.